Hi everybody, Mr. Peggett here. Hope you're keeping well, hope you're keeping safe. And today's book is called Hot Hippo. And it is hot today and it's by uh, written by Mwenye Haditai and it's illustrated by Adrian Kenaway and it's published by Hodder Books. <sighs> Hippo was hot. He sat on the riverbank and he gazed at the little fishes that were swimming in the water. If only I could live in the water, he thought, how wonderful life would be. So he walked and he ran and he strolled and he hopped and he lumbered along until he came to the mountain where Engai lived. Engai was the god of everything and everywhere. Engai told the animals to live on the land and the fishes to live in the sea. Engai told the birds to fly in the air and the ants to live underground. Engai told the hippo he was to live on land and eat grass. Please, oh great Engai, God of everything and everywhere. I would so much like to live in the rivers and the streams, begged Hippo, hopefully. I would still eat grass. Aha! thundered the voice of Engai. So you say, but one day you might just eat a fish to see if it tasted good. And then you would eat all my little fishes. Oh no, I promise I wouldn't, said Hippo. Aha! thundered the voice of Engai. So you say, but how can I be sure of that? I love my little fishes. I would show you, promised Hippo. I will let you look in my mouth whenever you like to see that I'm not eating your little fishes. And I will stir up the water with my tail so that you can see I've not hidden the bones. Aha! thundered the voice of Engai. Then you may live in the water, but... Hippo waited. But you must come out of the water at night and eat grass, so that even in the dark I can tell you are not eating my little fishes. Agreed? Agreed! sang the hippo happily. And he ran all the way home until he got to the river where he jumped in with a mighty splash. And he sank like a stone because he couldn't swim. But he could hold his breath and run along the bottom which he does to this very day. And he stirs up the bottom by wagging his little tail so that Engai can see he has not hidden any fish bones. And now and then he floats to the top and opens his huge mouth ever so wide and says, look Engai, no fishes. And that was how Hippo was no longer hot. See you soon. Mud, mud, glorious mud. Nothing quite like it for cooling the blood. So follow me, follow, down to the hollow, and there let us wallow in glory.